The East is the beginning way, where all things start. I welcome the spirits of our distant ancestors, for they are the ones who created our knowledge, the wisdom to allow us not just to survive, but to thrive on our land. When the sun rises in the East, we remember the ancient ones and the birth of all our knowledge. I welcome the spirits of those that created us. The South brings us the warmth of compassion. I welcome the spirits of those who have recently left us, as they are the ones who fought to pass down the knowledge our ancestors created. Through struggle and turmoil, they managed to ensure our language, ceremonies, knowledge and ways of being would be here for us and keep us strong as a nation. When we feel the warmth of the noon sun, it is their warm embrace telling us we are on the right path. I welcome the spirits of those who guide us. The West is a direction of thought and reflection. I welcome the spirits of those who exist in the here and now. When the sun sets, it is a reminder of the events of the days past. It is a reminder to learn from past experiences so we may prosper in the days, months, and years ahead. It is a reminder to reconcile our shared history, to learn from our mistakes, listen to each other, acknowledge experiences and voices, and work together in a genuine relationship. I welcome the spirits of those who lead us. The North is a direction of renewal. I welcome the spirits of those who have yet to join us. As the cold sets in, our environment takes time to rest and renew itself. Through this harsh time comes strength and unity. We wait in anticipation of that first early morning, that first leaf, that first sound of birds as the sun rises. We wait for the new beginning to arrive, for new beginnings signify new life, new hope, and new relationships. I welcome the spirits of those who will inspire us. Above us is the direction of protection. I welcome the spirits of our fathers, grandfathers, brothers, uncles, sons, and partners. I welcome the masculine spirit that is also found within the feminine. May you continue to protect us as a nation, as a community, as individuals, as we are all on the same path but in different stages of our journey. I welcome the spirits that protect us. Below us is the direction of love, as this is where we all come from. I welcome the spirits of our mothers, grandmothers, sisters, aunties, daughters, and partners. I welcome the feminine spirit that's also found within the masculine. May you continue to love us, teach us, and guide us as a nation, as a community, as individuals. And we are grateful for all that you instill in us. And we know that love is the greatest form of protection. I welcome the spirits that love us. Looking within, we find the direction of growth. As we reflect on our lives, we recognize the need to learn from our mistakes. We learn from all the directions. We embrace the knowledge of the spirits that created us. We learn from the spirits that guide us. We have faith in the spirits that lead us. We keep ourselves healthy both mentally and physically and anticipate the future spirits that will inspire us. All of this is possible because of the protection of love that surrounds us. I welcome the spirits of continual growth.
Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you, Jude, for opening our convocation ceremony in such a, such a special and meaningful way. I want to begin by recognizing that we are on the unceded traditional territory, an ancestral homeland of the Mi'kmaq Nation. The foundation for our collective relationship can be found in the words and intent of the Peace and Friendship Treaties. Within these treaties are the rights and responsibilities that form the basis of our nation-to-nation -nation relationship. Here in Nova Scotia, we recognize that we are all treaty people. My name is Dom Bureau, and I have the honor of being the president of NSCC. And it's my absolute privilege to welcome you to our unique celebration today. I have to start by saying, if someone had told me at the beginning of our second term back in January that our traditional beloved convocation ceremonies held every June would be completely turned upside down due to a global pandemic not seen for over a century, I would not have believed them. But here we are, 11 months later, and it's been a very interesting year to say the least. And we're finally able to celebrate our incredible class of 2020. You know, as I look back to 2020, the year has not been about just COVID-19. There have been many other events that have unfortunately broken our hearts and sometimes crushed our spirits. We have been witness to events that have raised awareness and created movements that will not be silenced. Movements to change wrongs that have been simmering for far too long, like Black Lives Matter and the smallest of teenagers shifting the world to act on the climate crisis. These are just some of the examples of movements that have gained global momentum and need our ongoing support. This is a year that had the potential to rob us of our spirit, but instead it stirred us to innovate, to rise up, and to affect change. Change that might otherwise have taken years to come about. And this change matters. This is the change that will make a difference for your futures. And that's what I want to remember 2024. And that's what I know our class of 2020 will be remembered for. For your spirit and for your determination, for your commitment and for your resilience, and for your skill set to take on new reality and help renew our economy and our communities in this amazing province. It was interesting to see an old poster resurface during these last few months. Following the Halifax explosion, over a century ago, as this city began to rebuild, the following message was shared to help motivate citizens whose lives and communities had become devastated. And that read, we shall never rebuild Nova Scotia unless everybody works together. It's incredible how relevant this message is again. Our lives have not been affected in the same physical sense as they were in 1917, but the upheaval has impacted our lives in significant economic, social, and emotional ways. By being part of the NSCC community for your studies, you know how unique an organization we are. Our campuses and sites crisscross Nova Scotia, from Sydney to Amherst to Yarmouth, and all points in between. And when I sit with other post-secondary education presidents, government officials, or national business leaders, I feel so proud so proud of the critical work we do as a cornerstone for our communities. Because we have 14 campuses across Nova Scotia and online, we are able to offer access to learners close to their homes. I've been told by many of our students that because of the proximity of the campus or our online and blended options, they were able to access a post-secondary education, a journey that might not have been otherwise possible for them to embark upon. Our community connection is so important to all of us here at NSCC, as well as to our broader partners. And as I've said many, many times, we take the word community in our name very seriously. As our mission states, our work is to support student success as not only helping to build the economy of Nova Scotia, but it's also helping to build a better quality of life in this amazing province. Graduates, during your time with us, you have found so many ways to not only use your talents and education to realize your credentials and qualifications, you've also found time to give back to your communities through service learning, 
and often in other ways, both large and small. Never ever has this connection been more important. When we needed to be physically distanced, we, more than ever, needed to be socially connected. And to witness the efforts of our students and grads, as well as our employees during this very, very challenging many months of lockdown makes me so very proud. There are so many examples, but I want to share just a few with you this afternoon to allow you to draw a picture of the positive impact that collective service is contributing to our entire province. Music business grads Carla Bizanson and Kristen Wells brightened the days of those feeling isolated. They would have musicians share messages of hope and caring through a song to the recipient on Instagram. And Joan Godsey, a culinary management student at our King's Tech campus, made daily meals for over 300 transport truck drivers when restaurants across Canada had to shut their doors. Akerley campus grad Adam Ulock launched the One Bag Challenge. And during the pandemic, he asked Nova Scotians to collect one bag of litter from the streets and sidewalks near their homes to help keep our communities clean and beautiful. One of our innovation partners, Ignite Labs, made and distributed more than 3,500 ear savers to healthcare workers across Nova Scotia by using 3D printers at our Pictou campus and at the Burridge Campus Satellite Innovation Lab. These are true investments in one another and in our communities, and they're helping to make this province an even better place to live and work. And all of that work will certainly inspire others to reach out and contribute as well. Again, as the 1917 message said, we can only rebuild by working together. So towards that end, I want to show my appreciation to the incredible NSCC team who have been there all along the way. This team includes our amazing faculty, advisors, counselors, and support staff. It includes our incredible folks who keep our campuses clean and safe. And it includes those who lead the way on the administrative side and in the fundraising and alumni departments of the college. This is one dedicated group who are committed to your success, assisting one learner at a time. And it's such an honor and privilege for me to work with such an amazing group of professionals. To each and every one of them, I want to say thank you for all that you do. There's one other group of individuals that I want to I wanna recognize this, this afternoon. Each year, I ask our graduates to take a moment to recognize those who have been on the learning journey with them. Look, there's no doubt that your success came to you thanks to your hard work. But in many cases, it was also the result of support. Support from those around you. They may be sitting with you watching this ceremony this afternoon, or they may be cheering you on from afar. Please take a moment. Take a moment and give them a hug, give them a high five, or send them a message of thanks. And before I conclude, I would like to give a big shout out to our student associations. As their gift to the 2020 class, a red spruce tree will be planted at each of our campuses. And I think this gesture is so fitting because it's Nova Scotia's official tree and it's a species known for its strength and resilience just like this year's graduates. In conclusion, I have a request to make of each graduate. Please take a moment to celebrate you and the journey that brought you here today. And remember, remember 2020 for the positives, and that includes the success of our 4,500 graduates. Remember this unique year for the way it has shaped our world and the way it has shaped you as an individual, as a professional, and as a member of your community. To the class of 2020, let me simply say, you did it. Hello, class of 2020, and congratulations on your graduation. As an alumni of NSCC, I know that that is no small feat. I can't say enough of the time I spent at NSCC. I credit it for boosting my productivity and my work ethic uh, and my creativity. And I will take with me the memories and the connections and the friendships uh, for a long, long time. I remember feeling so, so relieved when I graduated and I'm sure you feel the same. Um, those programs are really hard and not everyone can make it through. So I hope you're very proud. 
Um, I'm gonna play a song called Thoughts on Fire. It's about believing in yourself, maybe when other people might not believe in you, and you know, you're, you're finishing this chapter, graduating this year, and you're looking towards your future careers and mapping out the rest of your lives, and I know that can be a little bit stressful. I, I wanna challenge you not just to do what other people think you should do. Um, be creative with what you do with your certificates and diplomas and degrees, and follow your heart. Know that if you finished your program this year, you are very, very capable. Here we go. I didn't listen to your negative reasons Cause I don't got time for that sort of thinking I'm unaware if you're trying to bring me down I'm too busy thinking better thoughts And I love that so much I believe, I believe, I believe I can do it if I want I believe, I believe Do it if I want I believe, I believe That everyone's with me All these thoughts on fire Fire All Thoughts on fire, fire If they tell you you can't, they're a liar, a liar All these thoughts on fire Hold your head up high and listen, listen No one is good advice But don't care what they're thinking And I'll race you to the finish line I was your favorite underdog And I'm gonna miss that so much I believe, I believe, I believe Can do it if I want, I believe, I believe if I want, I believe, I believe that everyone's with me now. All these thoughts on fire, fire. All these thoughts on fire, fire. If they tell you you can't, they're a liar. Congratulations. To all NSCC Program 2020 graduates, congratulations. I know this is not how you envisioned your graduation ceremony. But 2020 has brought a lot of changes to our lives, and it has taught us a lot too. As an NSCC graduate myself, I know you spent this year learning the skills required and gaining experience in your chosen field. But this year, you've also learned how to adapt to challenging situations and find new solutions. As you close this chapter and move on to the next, I know you are well prepared for whatever journey lies ahead. The COVID-19 pandemic has taught us the importance of being kind, looking out for one another, and working together for the common good. As students preparing to graduate during this time, you've also proven your resilience and you have demonstrated that you're ready to overcome challenges thrown your way. I have confidence that you are ready to do whatever you choose to do. You have an opportunity to help shape the future of Nova Scotia, and we need you. We need your voice. We need your help to make a difference not only in our province, but also in our country and around the world. You are the class of 2020. Be proud of that and build on it. As you go out into the world, give back, give love, and always be kind. On behalf of all Nova Scotians, congratulations. We are all proud of you. We started this past school year eager and optimistic, ready to work hard and focus on our education with graduation insight. And we did just that. 
What we didn't see coming was the pandemic that would affect the world and the ways our lives would change. But as NSCC students, we were determined, and it's that determination that got us through. Through the long study sessions, the sacrifices, the highs and the lows. The triumphs and the failures, which really turned out to be lessons in disguise. Through the uncertainty about the world and the challenges and social justice issues that are faced by many in our communities. We might not know what the future holds, but we know that we're ready to take a stand and create our own paths. As graduates of the class of 2020, we occupy a really unique moment in history. We've proven that learning can take place in the classroom, field, at a desk, and over video calls. We've grown our skills in our chosen careers and learned so much about life along the way. Rather than looking at the state of the world and thinking, what's going to happen? We ask you to think, what change can I make happen? As a province, we're stronger together than we are apart. And together, we can step forward as graduates, ready to make our mark on the world. To all of the families, NSCC employees, neighbors, fellow students, friends, and loved ones who have supported us on this journey, thank you. We couldn't have done it without you. To the healthcare professionals, delivery workers, caregivers, emergency responders, grocery store clerks, and our governments who have all been working tirelessly to get us through the pandemic. We thank you. And finally, to the entire NSCC graduating class of 2020, let's move forward with the same determination that helped us succeed throughout our journey at NSCC. We got this. Hi, my name is Matt Johnson, and I'm the Student Association President at the Strait Area Campus. We're commemorating this year's Class of 2020 with the planting of a red spruce tree at each of our campuses. The red spruce is Nova Scotia's official tree, chosen because it's strong and resilient, just like this year's graduates. The trees are sponsored by the Student Association on behalf of all the graduates. What's up, NSCC graduates, we're Neon Dreams. About two years ago, my mom went through chemotherapy and it was, a, it was a hard time for me, but watching her, she was the most positive person I ever met in that moment. And she ended up beating cancer. And that made me realize the power of positive thinking and made me want to write a song like this. This song's called Turn Back Now. If you're stuck in the middle between where you were and the place that you wanted to be You've been staring at the ceiling cause you can't sleep But I swear it's gonna be alright, yeah And if you let's start giving now I'll carry you, I'll carry you And if it all comes crashing down I'll be there for you, I'll be there for you We can And stones until you break my bones. Pain from you is so much cheaper than my student loan. We'll keep marching on into the morning sun. In the end, we'll write about the days that we were strong. And if you let's start giving now, I'll carry you. I'll carry you.
Congratulations to all our graduates. We're so proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Graduating class of 2020, congratulations, you did it. Well, look at you I'm Maggie Dale Lamonek. Congratulations to the future leaders of Nova Scotia. Way to go! Today's your day, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. You did it! Way to go! Woohoo! Congratulations, you did it! Congratulations, class of 2020. On behalf of your fellow alumni and the alumni relations team, welcome to the family. You are now part of a growing network of over 80,000 NSCC alum, making their mark across Nova Scotia, Canada, and the globe, including some of today's guests like Premier McNeil, Adrian from Neon Dreams, Rhea May, Isra Fitch, interpreter Brenna Darcy, and me. I'm sure today brings mixed feelings. Your time on campus ended without the typical goodbyes and send-offs, without the hugs and high fives, and without the ability to show gratitude to those who supported you along the way. But today isn't about the end. In fact, it's about the beginning of your lifelong connection with NSCC and each other. It's about more than a building or a classroom. It's about the people, and today I hope it's clear how proud your NSCC people are of you. By now, you should have already received your NSCC alumni pin in the mail, this pin represents all that you've achieved as an NSCC student and the incredible alumni network you now belong to. We hope you wear it with pride. As part of this network, I encourage you to take full advantage of all the supports and resources available to you. Many of you are already tapping into mentorship, career supports, discounts and programming to help you transition from student to alumni. Over time, we hope you'll find ways to pay it forward, sharing your time and talents with others and paving the way for those who will follow in your footsteps. You've been through a lot, but you've also persevered. Keep going. We need your drive and your innovation, and whatever you do next must create impact. We need you, Nova Scotia needs you. I hope you'll find a place in this amazing alumni community and continue to stay in touch. Good luck and congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Ashley. And a big thank you to everyone who participated in today's celebration to make it such a special ceremony for such an incredible graduating class. To the class of 2020, again, well done and congratulations. As I mentioned earlier, 
We couldn't greet you on stage this year, unfortunately, but please, please stay tuned following the drumming for a list of the names of our class of 2020. Thank you and congratulations. Congratulations to all the NSCC graduates for 2020. I wish you continued success. Sky is the limit, never give up.
sana.